Hello and welcome back to Going Medieval. We are picking up right where we left off, building the two churches. Last time I built the uh, Church of Restitutionists, and now I'm working on the Oak Brethren. Uh, but before I go on with that, I just want to mention uh, I'm trying a new recording software. Well, it's not a new recording software, it's OBS, the thing I use for streaming. Uh, but I'm trying it for recording this uh, with different settings that came recommended from the internet because my normal software, Shadowplay, keeps stopping like it, it was uh, last episode and the final straw was it caused me to lose an hour of first impressions which I can't re-record so I'm peeved and we're going to see if um, OBS does better so if there are quality issues, drops, whatever, I apologise, I won't know about it until I finish recording and I edit it, so I will find out later on, and you guys will find out right now. Why are settlers starving? We have 81 meals, who the hell's starving? Redmond? Eat a meal, Redmond. God, I don't know why Redmond st Redmond seems to struggle. Like, Redmond's the one who ran out of, uh, who constantly runs out of energy, and apparently food as well. Wow, that's linen. I have tons of linen. Is that from the flax? I think so. Wow, okay. There was a point when I almost ran out of that. Alfred has turned 51 and Leona is 31. All right, what is erudite? Usually something to do with reading. Uh, rare intellect, could even be called gifted. Plus five intellect. Where are her... Oops, she's gone. Where are her thingies? Her intellect her, uh, is now... Three. She gained five, and it's three. Rare gift. Rare gift indeed. Ah, good. They're building the extra shelves, because the food storage was actually getting pretty full. Because I've got... Uh, these are just for... Oh, a bit too close to the bees. These are just for seeds, these ones are just for meals, and then the rest are for uh, storage of actual food uh, and, and such. So that, uh, yeah, it was actually running out because I've got almost 3,000 raw food now. 700 meat, wow. Yeah, I probably didn't need to uh, produce as many as that. Interesting. These take a very long time to decay in this temperature because it's only 1.7 degrees. So these take... These are going to take another month. Wow. And that that is when they have spent most of them, their time in here, which is admittedly also about the same temperature. So yeah, I need to keep expanding this. The bigger I can get it, the more... Um... Oh, I also need to move it away from this area because that's too close to this sort of heat. Source of heat, sorry. So it's actually heating up this area because of it. Oh, how's the new thing? Oh, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That is pretty cool. I didn't tell it to make anything, though, so nobody's actually been doing anything with it. Uh, let's go for 30 of those. 50 of those and 30 of those. What is there to, to research? What needs... How much do I need? It seems nothing actually needs more than 15. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So if I go for, yeah, 30, why not? That bloody insect noise is getting really irritating. <laughs> just constant. I'm going to have to float this high up just so I can't hear the bloody insects. Just that incessant if I get any lower. Well, that's dug out. Oh, damn, you can even hear the insects when it's paused. Uh, that's dug out, so now I can put in uh, some more beams. And another row of shelves. Yeah, we have both the restitutionist shrines now. So they're currently in spare rooms. Because I'm missing something? I don't know what, maybe the lectern. Uh, restitutionist lectern. No variant, so I'll just stick it there. I don't know whether... Oh, and... Um... Oh no, I've already got those. Yeah, it's the uh, Oak Brethren one I don't have. How the crops doing? Uh, barley is still a few days off. Uh, yeah, herbs are slowly. 
These don't have much in the way of uh, options. Why would you ever not harvest? Hmm. I suppose you can not harvest all. Interesting, that's actually a different flax field. Alright, hang on, if I just uh, cancel that and expand. One more, get rid of the last thing, and now there's a nice convenient ladder for you to get round there. Good work, Alicia, fantastic. We are ready for the next phase of the Oak Temple. Line the walls with clay brick. Uh, actually, cancel that. How are we doing on materials? Uh, not much in the way of limestone. Mm -hmm. We've got plenty of stone that I can mine, so I will go for this and I'll just get them to pull their fingers out. Limestone brick then. Occurs to me I forgot to um, to stylize these, so let's go with rounded corners, I think, for these ones. Because that's not one I use much because it doesn't mesh well with like the roof above it, uh, usually, but because this is sort of a bit of an overhang, it's not too bad. And then uh, I'm thinking like with this between the windows there nice row of these along the back sadly you can't sort of have them extend up into the roof bit there that looks fancier not a lot because again can't do anything with this but uh, still fancier and in here we will have columns all facing inward like so and uh, we will have limestone beams that's yeah that's too long thought that might be that's okay every two yeah every two so I need to make sure I don't give them other mining jobs that they come out and do this how's my honey doing what's this beeswax what can I do with beeswax I mean there's nowhere to find out like unless I go on the wiki uh, apparently it is a construction material, medicine and candle material, but that's not trustworthy either because this is also apparently a construction material and a raw material, but it, according to the wiki, bones have no purpose in the current edition of the game. Because remember, this game is still in early access. I don't know how this is going to look with the, uh, the circular columns, actually. Because I don't believe you can build under a wall. Like, you can't build a floor under a wall, I don't think. I know you can't with doors, but I don't know about other things. You know what I've just realised? The the door, like, the just the blank brown square reminds me of. It reminds me of um, Colony Survival, which is a game I've covered previously on the channel a couple of times. And in that, they had uh, a placeholder, in inverted commas, for the um, stair, like the half step. It, it was just a plain brown thing, it, like it didn't match the colour of the wood, and there was a, a grey one made of stone that didn't match the colour of the stone. And they, I don't actually know if they've updated those yet, but for, for like years, they were just basically untextured things in the game and it just seems like a really odd thing like here it just stands out it doesn't match the wood like just change the brown so it looks like wood and you know even if you can't change it from wood it's still less sort of obvious than just a dark brown square you know yeah that's just going to be brown under there I mean it's not the end of the world it's, it's, it's not green because it's not grass anymore it's just dirt but that's still not ideal. Oh, an extortion. Hold an event. One or more event types are available. Oh, I have never been able to do this. I guess it's because I've got the lectern now. Hold event. Is this now? Does it say? Yeah, Church of Restitution Chapel. I needed the, the lectern. A Eurekist event. Okay. Hmm, interesting. So you can, like, this is a new edition. I don't really understand it as... 
the visitors I keep getting uh, people who can hold special events. Um, all right, I'll deal with the uh, attack in a couple of days, and then I'll see about holding an event. Oh, silver. The silver in them there rocks. Add a little bit of gold as well. Tons of iron, but, you know, I don't need iron. I need gold. I need gold to make my shrines. Dig that for me. 216 gold. 288 gold. No idea how much that converts. I think it's 40? Let me just have a look, she. It is... Uh, in the forge, these things. It is... It is... 300. Well, okay, never mind then. Literally not enough for a single ingot. Then again, they say, you know, there's... There's more gold ore in a mobile phone than in a, a pound of gold ore, or something. Ah, but this is done. Good. So now I will put in two shrines, because I can't afford the, the proper thing. Uh, I also can't afford the ritual circle, frustratingly, but that will go, like, here. Um, but for now... Uh, I can begin the next phase of my plan. You see, I dug this into the ground for a reason. Sorry, that bloody insect's really irritating. Uh, I dug this into the ground for a reason. I plan to cover it back up with soil. This will take them a little while to fill in, but will be worth it when they're done. I should have plenty of dirt. Yeah, I've got almost 2,000 dirt. I mean, these are five each, so... Extortion by the Philosophers of the Natural Order. Welp. Four hours. Why do they always attack at night? It's really irritating. It always means my people are exhausted the next day. How inconsiderate can you be? Here they come. Quite a big group. Uh, two people called uh, Thomas and two people called Abel. That's unlikely. Uh, where are they attacking from here? Okay. Rally the troops. Everybody head out. And... Onto the walls with the archers. Everyone moving? Yep. It's easy to, like, accidentally send two people to the same place or misclick and send... Ooh. Get up there as quick as you can. This is the downside of being this close to the wall here. The, the edge of the map, sorry, here. Is if they... They appear where they did. Uh, it doesn't take them long to reach me. Open fire! And move Leona up to there, Redmond up to there. Uh, Dudok, he's a bow, why is he on the ground? Misclicked, evidently. Myrtle up to there, and Zristina up to there. So they shouldn't need the people out there, like these, these wooden barricades do very well. And what I generally do is select all my archers and go for the people who aren't wielding shields because shields give them protection so i go for the uh, spearmen first the ones who are most dangerous if the gate get, does get breached then when we run out of spearmen take out the archers in pretty quick bloody order oh crossbows you're officially keeping my people up Oh, Lou's taking a couple of hits. She may need to uh, back out if she takes another. I think she took another. She could take one more. Oh, wow, Osgood. Yeah, alright, take out that one. I don't know what Osgood is wearing. Slot blocked. Uh, winter clothes plate armor, wow. That's all right. Did not even slightly stand up to my shots. So uh, the two with shields who are attacking the gate, then not really getting through. And by the time, uh, by the time I run out of other things to shoot, uh, the the day's won. Wow, everybody's dead. Can you finish him off? Yeah. Uh, clean sweep. Set everything to allowed, and then everybody go back to bed.
Does it say stats of stuff? Because we, we've got a couple of these crossbows now. Oh, it actually does. Uh, 3.15 DPS, 3.75. 100% precision, 98% precision. Has it always said this? I don't think I've seen... Oh, no, I saw that before. I guess I've never hovered over bows. I am surprised that bows are better. I think that's that's sort of the opposite of how it should be. Like, crossbows should be shorter range than a bow. Because a bow you can arc and a crossbow you can't. Dudok is seeing to Lou by standing in her pillow. Nice. Although wounds are nowhere near as big an issue in this as they are in RimWorld. You know, if you don't treat a wound in RimWorld, you, you're going to bleed out and die horribly. But in this, you heal. Like, it counts as tending wounds just by sleeping. So if you don't have a doctor, it's not as dire. And the wolves are here to eat the corpses. That's fine. I haven't had a merchant in bloody yonks. People are exhausted because, of course, they didn't sleep well because they were up fighting. And there's no way to, like, say, take the day off, everybody. You know what would be cool, actually? Like uh, an ignore schedule button. Interesting. Yeah, that would be a really cool thing. So, like, it's just like a toggleable here to say ignore schedule. So, or, like, maybe even, like, an ignore schedule and ignore for a day. So... Like, for the next 24 hours, they don't follow the schedule, they just do anything, and they'll that'll allow them to recuperate. That would be a really cool addition. Ah, uh, now we're into summer, I should swap everyone over into uh, summer clothes. And the thing is, because this caused them to uh, spontaneously uh, unequip the wrong clothes, everyone just, I think everyone just goes naked, do they? Oh, maybe not. Yep, yeah, yeah, everyone just goes naked. They just go naked, and they just drop their clothes where they stand. Oh, very nearly finished here. Two more, but that means I can get started. Because what, I figure, what better uh, fits a temple of uh, the Oak Brethren than covering the top of it in oak trees? So we'll just have this as a big grove of oak trees. A uh, cattle has arrived. Have they? Uh, are they domesticated? Tax. Okay, show me tax. And a boar. Okay, I don't want a male cattle. Thanks. Damn, there's some clay here. That's blocking my trees. Now if I... Set this to don't cut and copy it rather than just placing it because you can't adjust them all at once. And then painstaking re replace all of these. Oh, did it copy them? Oh, it didn't copy the settings. Oh, that's really bloody annoying, isn't it? You can't do them multiples. Oh, for God's sake. What's the point of having a copy button if it doesn't copy the settings? Uh, painstakingly done, and now I set it to cut the two trees that are there already. Uh, can I cut this? Can I get rid of this at all? No. Apparently there's a sapling there that I just can't get rid of. Religious Structures 3. Good timing. Okay, now I can see what... How big this thing is yeah, even though I can't build it it is oh three by one well I was right that it was three across which is good but um, only one deep okay so I'll shifty these off to the sides in both temples And now, large Restitutionist Oak Shrine out of limestone, facing this way. There. So it won't actually build it until it has the gold, and it needs five bloody ingots each, but it will allocate the stone. And large Oak Brethren Shrine, there. 
And also place the ritual circle too. But I do realize that I need the um, Oak Brethren wall decorations in here. How do I place these? Like this. No. Okay, just a couple of those. Yeah, the last couple of these. Uh, don't cut and don't cut. Something I'm unsure about is, th like, there's a dead tree here. So I'm wondering if, like, they literally won't chop it down and I'll have my oak grove just full of dead trees. Or whether, sort of, the, they'll, the trees will die off, fall down on their own. I think they do fall down on their own and then get replanted. That's what I'm hoping so that the grove is just like the full life cycle of trees basically. I think it's actually going to be a little while until this is um, planted up because I don't know that I have any seeds for it. I've got birch saplings and apple saplings but no oak saplings. Uh, how many oak trees do I actually have? Which one's oak? Scott pine, field maple, oak tree. All right, well, it looks like I do actually have a lot of oak trees. So it's not that, like, they're rare in this biome or anything. So if I just chop down the spare ones from presumably where acorns have just dropped off the trees, then uh, that should provide some more... Um, some more acorns in order to plant the grove. Oh, it seems the cattle has joined. Um, denied. Oh, more gold. It's very hard to see the gold. It's like one vein of gold in all of this. Also, it seems we didn't bother moving those people. Why not? I did have a, a dumping ground up here. Some of them got moved. Human carcass. Yeah, priority very high. Some of them got moved, the rest were just allowed to bloody rot outside the gates. Although, actually, I should chop down these trees because they provide cover to the enemy. I've been playing with the uh, trees off, but I forgot how pretty they were in this game. Like, the trees are genuinely very pretty in this. To be honest, all of the graphics are. Like, it, it has this really nice vibe to it. Just looks pleasant. People are cold. Oh, because we're in autumn now. Um, yeah. Allow me. Hang on. Aim it a bit better so that, that doesn't block any. And on. Let there be fire amongst you. Actually, I haven't heated the churches at all. How's the cellar? The cellar is doing okay. 11 degrees. That's still between the 8 and 14 we need. And down here... 1.8. Now these might actually last longer than the five days it says because it's just going to get colder and colder so it's still unlikely to dip below zero. I think I need more ice for that. But now that uh, we finished doing the uh, church I can extend this a bit. Oh yeah we have a visiting chaplain. I can hold an event. Does it just do it immediately? Bread and wine. Uh, apparently I have neither bread nor wine. Ah, so it fulfills their needs for several days. Uh, Alright, well I'll wait until morning and then hold that. Yep, people are up now, so... Presumably... Ah, yeah, it has selected all the people who are actually restitutionists. That is really cool. Can't access event for some reason. Why not? Where's Alicia? Oh, okay. I thought she might have trapped herself somewhere. But, no, it seems... We'll just hold this. The Eucharist event. Yes, gather! Gather in the Church of Restitutionistism-ness. People are starving. Oh, bloody Redmond. I like how he's not using the lectern. He's just staring out the window. Actually, I should close these windows because it's getting cold. Closed. Of course, now I've got to get someone out here to do it. That's why I haven't bothered putting windows on any of the other buildings. They look uh, good, 
but because it's a whole job. Oh. Ah, they become more devout. Interesting. Um. Ooh. Have I done that? Oh, with the uh, the two. Oh, what? Seriously? Apparently, I had nine ingot. Nice. Um. Yeah, although I like the look of the windows, it's just too much faff to uh, uh, close them and, and stuff and open them again. Myrtle can become a druid. What would that do? Unskilled labor, experts in land-based philosophy and the old gods, druids spend their community role appointed hours meditating with any settlers. They also make sacrifices and lead ritual events. Hmm... Settler has their own private chamber. I mean, they, she doesn't. I don't know where Myrtle does sleep. So Myrtle sleeps in there. Ah, she does just by virtue of nobody happening to be in the other bed. Uh, Alright, I will not do that right now. But I will probably give Myrtle, like, I don't know, room down here or something. That'd be nice. But now that the church is done, that is probably a good place to call it. I was wondering why the the uh, roads have vanished because <laughs> they're technically one layer up from the ground. Anyway, it, I mean, that is a nice touch that you can see the ground underneath them. Anyway, but yes, I will call it there. We have the Brethren Church. Uh, I'm still enjoying this game if people are still happy to uh, to watch it. Oh, wow, I've got bloody 19 gold ingots. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. I guess I had enough gold. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I don't know what I'll build next. Uh, I've got. I can extend the the underground area. I want to build up the thingies, the walls. I want to get a tunnel underneath. That'd be really cool. But then that would undermine the ability to defend the bridge. Not that that's really an issue. But yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm happy to play more, as I said. And I hope the quality of this was pretty good, as this is hopefully what I'm going to be using to record until Shadowplay gets its act together. So thank you very much for watching, I will be back uh, maybe with more Going Medieval in the future, and I will catch you later.